Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and today's reading is for a viewer question. Ted wants to know uh, if we could do, if I could do a reading on the Trump brand and if it will continue to exist once he's gone and exposed. Okay, so I'm going to use that same karmic spread that I used for his um, Saturday reading and but I'm going to put it into the cards that this is for the Trump brand. So this would include, you know, Trump Organization Incorporated and include his family members. Okay, so the causes, the forces that are in motion, the challenges to the Trump brand, and let's see, what... How they're they're feeling about you know their organization itself, how the fam the whole family, Trump and his family, and what they're actually doing within that organization. The the Trump brand, their its karma, its you could call it destiny. Uh, their future, its future. And the effect, the karma, the um, the outcome of the cause and effect. Okay, so I will probably use some Lenormand cards in order to um, in order to add on, you know, so a little more depth in the meaning if I need. So that's the cause. This is the challenge. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is the, the, you know, the organization and the family itself. This is what they're actually doing. This is their karma. Oh, God. Of course. Uh, this is their future. Yikes. And the effect and the outcome. Okay. So, of course, we're going to need some more cards around this. Okay, so diving into the cause. Wow. So the, the cause of their... The causes that are completely in motion, the forces in motion that create the karma, good or bad, to, uh, you know, good, bad, or indifferent, to uh, their... Um, the, the institution of the Trump... <laughs> Actually, I'm going to say it. I just heard Trump crime family. But it's called Trump uh, Organization International, I believe, or Trump Organization Incorporated. And it, it is, of course, you know, all over the USA and in a couple other countries. I think Scotland and Ireland, if I'm, if I'm correct. Please let me know if I'm wrong about that. So, so anyway, what's in motion has been the way that they gather information. I, I just heard data scraping. Wow. Data scraping. So anybody that has contributed to the Trump campaign... Anybody who's on their mailing list, anybody, all their followers, anybody who's ever stayed at one of their resorts, any way they can get data on uh, on data, you know, to to get into the algorithms and and create their sales. So this is Brad Parscale. Even though he's an older guy, uh, he's still he's not that old, and he's not wise. So. You know, he, he's, he's smart and intelligent. That does not give you wisdom. Wisdom comes from your integrity, and he does not have integrity. integrity. So anyway, that's what's going on. And that's, that's the bond that he has, or that they have, that Trump organization has. What a, what a challenging... Uh... So their partnerships are challenged. Partnerships are challenged. These are partnership cards. Okay. And then what the family's doing itself, they're, they're defending themselves. 
the Trump Organization is defending itself against the massive amounts of lawsuits. That's what they're actually doing. They're bringing in more lawsuits to, uh, against the people who are suing them. They're, they're trying to litigate right back, and they're defending against the lawsuits that have come in in the past. You know, of course, because they're defending against tax records coming out, because they're not, it's not just uh, Donald Trump's personal tax records. These are the tax, uh, uh, you know, the documents, the, the declarations that have come through, uh, get, you know, have been given, filed with the IRS for the last, you know, I don't know, however many years they've been incorporated. They're defending that. They're defending that in, because the karma is that they lie and they cheat and they steal. So that's hanging over his entire brand. And of course, we could look at this as being one of the judgments, you know, that came through with, um, uh, you know, the charities, the charity organization for kids with cancer that Eric overlooked and uh, or oversaw. And then when he had his deposition, uh, he pled the fifth. <laughs> so, because what's you know what's a guy got to hide if you're if you're if you're not guilty you don't hide your tax returns and you don't uh, plead the fifth so but he did and they have a lot to hide and it's been the stealing that they've gone on you know gone on with forever and, and it, there's also you know the um, Trump University the, where they stole from those people and then of course they had the judgment against them and had to pay. But this is their future. This is the future card for Trump organization. Now, if Trump is going down and his reputation is in the toilet, like you know the the reading I did for for him for the same day for Saturday the fifth, uh, then the whole brand uh, goes down as well. I don't know that it could be recovered. I don't see recovery cards here. This could be um, a rebirth. That's that's possible. Like if someone were to, to change their ways, and um, that, it's possible that the judgment card could be a rebirth, but in a you know an absolution. But it would cause. I mean, it, the cost to do that would would take. A tremendous amount of integrity coming through and saying, "Hey, this is the way my dad did it, but now we're going to change it up because he he left the country." <laughs> what well, you know? Well, let's see what happens in the future on that one. Are the kids going to go with him or uh, or not? Are they going to stay? I mean, Don Jr. has five kids. You think his ex-wife is going to let him take their five kids to another country? I doubt it. Would he just run off with Kimberly Guilfoyle? Probably especially if he has a lawsuit coming down on him, because they've all lied, cheated, and stolen. And these these cards are the same ones, you know, these these were in his Saturday uh, reading. So there so we're I'm tracking obviously a pattern is emerging here that I'm able to track. The defensiveness around the lawsuits coming down, all the documentation in the lawsuits, in this case, the Trump brand is, is it, the karma is that they lie and cheat and steal. And they will have judgments come down upon them. That's their future card. And then the effect, this is really interesting because if it were in the reverse position, it could be, you know, it, it's the possibility of very, very, you know, bad decisions that happened. Um, a disharmony, you know, a misalignment of values. So you, you know, you lose the partnerships that you have because your values are no longer, you know, the same. So let's use, um, let's use the Laner Mon and let's see, I'll do the cards down here. I, I shuffled them already because I, I had a feeling I might need more. And I'll, I'll draw cards the same way. I'll lay them on top and then we can see how they jive because this will give us more information. Okay, so the cause that's in, fa in effect. Okay. The challenges. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Okay. Uh, what the family itself is actually, you know, feeling. Wow. Okay, what they're actually doing, you know, within the organization, right? Okay. Their karma. Their future, the brand, the Trump brand's future. Hmm, interesting. And the effect, the outcome. Might need to use the Kipper as well to get some some more guidance. Okay, well, this, so this is this is interesting, though. Um, well, actually, let's let's add on. Let me add on because it, that that's the cool thing you can do with Lanermon because the cards are read together like a sentence. Let's add. Two cards, two cards here, okay, two cards for the challenges, okay, two cards for the family itself, you know, the Trump brand is the Trump crime family. Okay, go here, and what they're actually doing, okay, the karma, wow, now that brings a little bit more in, okay, and then their future. And the outcome on the Trump brand itself. The outcome on the Trump brand. Huh. Wow. Okay. This is really, really interesting. I did not expect this. Okay, so with the, the cause that's in motion, we have the locomotion, the mice, and the uh, stork. So the, the way we read these together is th that this is the movement on land. So this is not foreign. This is uh, USA soil. That's how I'm going to read it in the context of this question. Uh, and there's something stolen and lost. And that's a big change for the brand. So these would be, you know, all the resorts that are on, on USA soil, you know, of course in America, and they have, they have occurred, you know, quite a bit, incurred, I'm sorry, quite a bit of loss because of the coronavirus. And, but then also the money that's gone back into his coffers, uh, you know, in, into Trump Organization's coffers because of the... Um, you know the the one that he has across the across the way in Washington D.C. and the, he he gets people to stay there and go there and eat there and you know hang out at that hotel. So his cronies go there. But so but there's there's that loss that it creates a change. The storks card is always about change. The mice card diminishes. And it creates loss, and it has to do with, you know, thievery. And, you know, it's like mice. Wherever they go, they poop, you know. So, oh, yeah, and I forgot to say, this is the um, the Maybe Lanermon by Ryan Edwards. And I colored in the cards because they were only in four colors, and I drew the little poops here <laughs> to remind me that's what they do. So, uh, okay, so then moving into the challenges... The, the challenge we have is the book card is the secrets and secrets and decisions, but secrets that are also dangerous and and actually shatter shatter something, shatters something, breaks it. 
And these two together are very, very... Uh, yeah, because the secrets can shatter their complete uh, existence because these two cards together are, you know, this, this card is definitely like dangerous, cutting, clearing... It could be a harvest, but we're we're talking about secrets. What are we harvesting secrets here? Well, we did have Brad Parscale and the data scraping. So yeah, so and maybe the data scraping had to do because we're adding on. Remember in meanings, that if the data scraping had to had to had to do with a lot of people that travel and use their. Uh, you know, their um, resorts, hotels, then if that secret came out, well, we wouldn't be surprised, would we? But it can be very dangerous. There's just any secrets with the Trump brand at all coming out. Partnerships, negative partnerships, and these secrets coming out could be could be very dangerous to the brand. So that means that there's there's more than we know about. Okay, so the family itself. Well, with the cat, a little kitten card here. They're um, they're fickle. That's that's a fickleness, and they only care about. So so they're de coming from a defended place. But they're also fickle, and they really only care about the seduction, the allure, the, um, oh, you know, look at us, we're beautiful, we have this, and w this is who we are, and, and you'll be treated like, you know, a queen when you come and stay, or a king, or whatever, and, and, but, you know, is it really true? Well, these two cards go together really well. That's very, very defensive. It's a duel. It's a fight. This is a fight. These, these are the... This is one of the battle cards in tarot, and this is definitely the only battle card in this deck. And it's an extended deck. These are some, you know, some of the extended cards beyond 36 are gypsy cards. So this is this is a battle. This is a duel. So that's that's how they're feeling. You know, they're acting as if it's it's nothing and then there's the blind spots that keeps them from looking and focusing on one thing you know like kitties can be very distracted right and that has to do with what they really want to focus on is just really how they look because that's what they do you know Ivanka objectifies herself all the women in his campaign they're all just objectifying themselves the way they dress the way they act they all look the same right uh, Melania herself is has objectified herself all her life, and that's you know it's the way these women are treated. So they think they have to be a certain way and look a certain way, and that's a battle. That's a real battle. It's not coming from any integrity there. Okay, so but what they're actually doing. There's a lot of energy going into, you know, their karma around the, a lot of work going into their karma so they can lie and cheat and steal some more. You don't normally see this as money laundering, but it's money, it can be, um, uh, it's just more, it's a lot, it's a lot of energy and a lot of work and, and to keep the lying up, you know. So with, the, with these cards we have for what they're doing, these, these two go together well, and that uh, there's movement and there's news. So, so they're the ones that help. What they're actually doing is helping him stay in the White House. And they're helping their own. The White, this could be the White House. This could also be their family foundation. The, or the, it is a family foundation card. So we're talking... Uh, always moving the news towards you know look at look at look at my dad he's so great and and it's it's there just to try and increase you know the the Trump brand is, is the best way I can read that okay and then for the the Trump brand's karma well the lying cheating and stealing uh, has only been able to uh, work 
and continue because of the uh, commitments from other people. So that's the karma. There's karma between him and um, all the people that help, uh, you know, keep it going, keep it spinning, keep it going, and that commitment. Uh, but coupled with the lilies, we have the lilies, the ship, and the ring. So the lilies have to do with something that's older and established. And the ship card has to do with overseas. You know, the entrepreneurial spirit that uh, goes beyond the USA. So that's been established and has gone on for a long time. But he has karma with these overseas uh, commitments. So it's Putin. This is Putin. The, all of this right here. This is Putin. That's his karma. Okay. And it's been going on for a very long time. Now, with um, their future, the key card is all about uh, having something, that, well, it, it's about importance. It's something very important. It's an important message. Uh, it's, it, but it opens, it can open secrets. It can open, um, it can be, a, you know, an important solution. But... It, it does usually mean success, but in this case, because of all the lawsuits and the judgment, I would say it's actually opening uh, into the children's uh, burdens within the family as well. The, the um, cross card is the karma card in this uh, system. So... This is an important, uh, you know, element is that the, you know, their future pretty much depends on them. Interesting. Okay. Now, with the, the, the outcome of the Trump brand, remember we're, you know, so much about the partnerships and the stealing partnerships <laughs> with Putin. And the kids are all in it too, of course. You know, we, we know that. And... So, so the goals in the future, so the stars card is about goals and your dreams and your hopes and your wishes. They all hang on, on relationships with other people in the future. And it, it might, there might be something more here with um, the, the woman. I, I kind of doubt it's Melania, but it's hanging on the hopes and goals and wishes of a woman and her reputation. So who's the woman? Is it Melania? Or is it um, Ivanka? Hmm. Let's, um, because that's, that's so important there that the, you know, right here, the data scraping, the spying, the um, the stealing and then the change and this, this depending on a relationship with a woman. Let's see, um, let's quickly use the tarot and see if I can identify who the woman is because I, I have, I do have a list. Um, oh yeah, here it is. I do have a, a list. Let me, let me set this here so I can see. I have a list of players. <laughs> I, I, I intend in the future to do readings on all these different players and their legal futures. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. So let's use this deck here. Give me a moment while I shuffle, or of course you can uh, fast forward. I'm going to also use this kipper as well. And hold on, let me take out, let me put the people. Let's just get the people cards here. Okay. I actually think that's all of them. Yeah. All right. We'll narrow it down this way. And then with the tarot, bear with me while I get out the uh, court cards. Mm -hmm. 
la la la. <laughs> Uh, hang in there with me. I didn't expect to have to do this, but um, let's see. What are they all at the end? Oh, goodness. Okay, I don't have 14 there, so obviously I blew past a few, so let's do this again. Oh, goodness, okay. Well, hold on, I'll just pause it and come back. Okay, I'm back. I realized while I was pulling out all the court cards that it's definitely because of these cards here that came through with the, um, the uh, what do you call the outcome, that it's definitely the goals of a woman and and their honor. Like, can they restore, can this woman restore the honor of the brand, of the Trump brand? So just knowing that uh, changed me pulling out the, uh, the court cards, and I narrowed it down to just the queens. So I'm going to draw one from the queens, and then with a the kipper, uh, this will tell me the, the age of the woman. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Queen of Swords. So that's, all right, and then the age. So a little older than, um, yeah. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it, even though it's not, you know, blonde hair, uh, I'm going to call it as uh, Ivanka. Because the Queen of Swords, if, if this were a divorced woman, then it could be Melania. But she's not ever going to have the power and the control over the uh, Trump organization. But the kids do. And, you know, because of these cards, it's a woman. So it's only Ivanka. And she is older when we have the people, the, the female cards. This would be Melania. This would be somebody younger than uh, Ivanka, and this could be, you know, right, right in her age range. And she would be the one that would have to uh, change, you know, the ways that she wanted to, the, the ways that they wanted to be seen. So if the, the, the way I'm going to call this uh, is that if, if there is a, uh, a continuation of the Trump brand, it would be Ivanka that takes charge. And she does have, you know, I mean, say whatever you want about her. She does have degrees uh, in business, and she did graduate from uh, Wharton Academy. So, you know, and I doubt anybody took her SATs for her like they did for Trump. But then again, you know, we don't know. But in, anyhow... She did earn, I think, three hundred million last last year, and so she does know how to work her her brand, right? Whether it's based in integrity or not, that's that's the thing. Uh, but so I, I I think it's I think it's Ivanka if it does continue on. So we'll we'll just have to watch it and see. This is one of those situations where we don't have a clear outcome because. Uh, things are still in, in flux and the way life works is it's always up to us in our free will. So if Ivanka comes through with her free will to clear out the baggage from the past and to, you know, clean up, this would be the clean up card, uh, then then she might have a future with it. But notice that I didn't um I, I didn't get the you know many mail cards in here. So it doesn't <laughs> doesn't look good for Eric and um Don Jr. in the future. Like maybe maybe Ivanka knows a way to keep herself clear. Or maybe she also knows how to reinvent herself afterwards. That would go with that judgment card that we had. Uh, th th there's a possibility of that uh, rebirthing there. You know, after all the uh, legal judgments come down, maybe she has a way of reinventing herself. So... Okay, well, I'll close it up for now, and I welcome your questions and comments, as always. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.